Greetings, fellow adventurers. If you're looking to dive into the world of Azeroth and embark on a quest to obtain the majestic Sea Turtle Mount, you've come to the right place. In this guide, we'll walk you through the process step by step. All you'll need is a good TV series, a pinch of patience, and a dash of luck. Let's set sail on this exciting journey together. As an experienced World of Warcraft player and mount aficionado, I've grown tired of the same old flying dragons and lightning-fast steeds. It's time to embrace a mount that truly speaks to my inner slowpoke. The Sea Turtle. Who needs to fly when you can crawl through the world at a leisurely pace, right? At a top speed of 60%, the Sea Turtle isn't exactly the Lamborghini of mounts. But that's precisely the point. You'll never get into trouble with this baby, because by the time you reach any scuffle, your opponents will have already perished from old age. And let's face it, there are already enough dragons zooming around Azeroth, it's time for some slow and steady action. Begin the Draenor campaign, to start building your garrison, you must first unlock access to Draenor. Make your way to the awe-inspiring dark portal in the Blasted Lands. Establish your garrison, as you progress through the initial quest chain in Draenor, you will be directed to a quest called Alliance, for Alliance players, or Horde, for Horde players. After completing the required quest line, you'll become the proud owner of a brand new garrison. For level up your Draenor garrison to level 2. Make your way to your town hall and interact with the architect table. Locate your town hall in the list of buildings and click on the upgrade button. Keep in mind that upgrading your garrison to level 2 will cost 200 garrison resources and 100 gold. The upgrade will be instant, so you'll see the changes right away. To upgrade your garrison to level 3, you'll need two essential resources, garrison resources and gold. Once you've gathered the required 2,000 garrison resources and 5,000 gold, you're ready to begin the upgrade process. Head to your garrison command table and select the option to upgrade your garrison to level 3. First off, there's the option to buy garrison resources at the huge ogre cash auction. This can be a quick and efficient way to obtain the resources you need, but just make sure to keep an eye on the prices. You can also gather resources in the Tanan jungle. Now let me share with you my favorite method, which I highly recommend. Each day, you can collect resources right at the entrance of your main garrison building. This is a convenient and hassle-free option, perfect for those who might not have a lot of time on their hands. While you're waiting for your garrison resources to accumulate, it's the perfect time to dive into the relaxing and rewarding world of fishing. You'll want to unlock the Fishing Shack building in your garrison. To do this, have a chat with the Fishing Trainer located within your garrison. If they don't seem to offer you any quests, it might mean you've forgotten to learn the fishing skill. No worries, just make sure to learn it and you'll be good to go. Once you've got the fishing skill under your belt, the Fishing Trainer will give you fishing-related quests to complete. These quests will help you get familiar with the art of fishing. Once you've successfully handed in all four quests, you'll be rewarded with a level 1 fishing shack. It's time to prepare the necessary funds for your fishing shack upgrade. You'll need to gather 1000 gold coins to secure the level 2 upgrade. With your hard-earned 1000 gold coins in hand, approach Spar's Boltwist for Alliance or Reslac for Horde and purchase the level 2 Fishing Shack upgrade. To obtain the blueprint for upgrading your Fishing Shack to level 3, you'll need to complete the meta achievement called Draenor Angler. This achievement will test your fishing prowess across the various locations in Draenor. To complete the Draenor Angler achievement, you must catch 100 big fish in each of the different zones in Draenor. As you journey through Draenor and catch big fish, be sure to keep track of your progress. This will help you stay motivated and focused on your ultimate goal, unlocking the level 3 Fishing Shack blueprint. Start by purchasing a plus 5 skill fishing rod from a Dragonflight fishing coach. This trusty tool will give your fishing skills a nice boost, making it easier to catch more fish. 
And don't forget to grab an oversized bobber, it'll help you see where you're casting your line with ease. Keep an eye out for Worm Supreme at the auction house. This top-notch bait will increase your fishing skill by 10, making you an even more formidable fisher. Make your fishing experience more enjoyable by changing one of your button binds to scroll your mouse wheel. With this simple tweak, you'll cast your fishing rod automatically when you scroll the mouse wheel, streamlining the whole process. Begin your Draenor Angler adventure after reaching level 2 of your garrison. As your garrison resources pile up, work on completing the Draenor Angler achievement to unlock the level 3 fishing shack, making fishing even more efficient. Focus on fishing in pools to speed up your progress. We recommend starting in Thalador, a hotspot for fishing pools, to quickly level up your fishing skill. Congratulations on earning the Draenor Angler achievement, you've certainly demonstrated your fishing prowess. Now, it's time to reap the rewards and embark on a new quest to recruit the renowned angler, Nat Pagel, as a follower for your garrison. Unlock the quest with the Fishing Trainer, after obtaining the Draenor Angler achievement, head back to the Fishing Trainer in your garrison. They'll now have a new quest available for you, which will set you on the path to recruit Nat Pagel as a follower. Follow the quest chain, the questline to recruit Nat Pagel is relatively short, so it won't take too much of your time. Complete each quest in the chain to bring Nat Pagel to your garrison. Assign Nat Pagel to your fishing shack, once Nat Pagel has joined your garrison, it's time to put his fishing expertise to work. Assign him as a worker in your fishing shack, and he'll help you access new fishing opportunities and rare catches. With Nat Pagel assigned to your fishing shack, you can now begin fishing for the elusive sea turtle mount right within your garrison. Let's dive into a thrilling aspect of fishing in your level 3 fishing shack, encountering the elusive cave dweller. This rare mob offers a chance to obtain a variety of exciting items. To encounter the cave dweller, you'll need to fish up a lunar fall cave dweller or frost deep cave dweller in the pond at your level 3 fishing shack. This rare mob is summoned through fishing, so keep casting your line and be patient. I remember when I first tried to catch a cave dweller, I was initially confused about where to find it and thought the drop rate was pretty low. To help you out, I've put together a guide based on my experience of catching 5 cave dwellers. Once you've successfully summoned the cave dweller, it's time to see what treasures they're carrying. The cave dweller has a chance to drop various items, including the coveted sea turtle mount. How about the riding turtle mount? While this mount is obtainable through TCG loot, you can also catch it right in your garrison. Keep fishing and stay persistent, and you might just reel in this rare and valuable mount. The cave dweller doesn't just offer mounts, you can also obtain pet, fishing poles, fishing hats, and Nat's lucky coin. The coins can be used to purchase other epic items from Nat Pagel, further enhancing your fishing experience. Time investment, in my quest to catch the cave dwellers, I kept track of the time it took for each catch. I managed to snag my sea turtle mount from the 54th cave dweller and the riding turtle from the 151st. This might give you a rough idea of what to expect in terms of time and effort. To maximize your chances of catching cave dwellers, consider using the in-game group finder feature. By joining forces with other players, you'll have more opportunities to fish up cave dwellers. During my two-day fishing adventure, I was joined by only one warrior. Fishing Essentials The most important rule of fishing is to have a good TV series to keep you entertained, at least two seasons should do the trick. To prevent hand strain, I recommend changing your key binding to the mouse wheel so you can fish comfortably for longer periods. It took me three days to complete the achievements and catch the turtles, without using any bots or hacks. I genuinely enjoy fishing, so the time spent was an enjoyable and rewarding experience. I hope you found this guide helpful, and I wish you the best of luck in your own fishing adventures. I look forward to seeing you roaming the vast expanses of Azeroth atop your magnificent turtles. Happy fishing, and see you in-game!